Tying the squimp, we're going to start off with a size 8 saltwater hook, stainless steel. Uh, I believe this is an SS15. I've already put a 4 millimeter bead on it. So I'm going to start my thread back here behind the bead. Just build up a little bit of a dam just to kind of hold it in place. And we'll take our thread back to the bend of the hook. Then I'm going to take a shell pink marabou feather and I'm going to use the tip as the tail. So I want this tail to be probably about the length of the shank, maybe a, just no more than that. So if it extends too far, it'll end up wrapping around the hook when you're casting. So keep it just about there to the length of the shank. And we'll tie this in here, back at the bend. I'm going to cut some of this out of the way now. And I'm going to just run the thread up over this marabou just to build a little bulk to my body. And it will all be covered with chenille and then a, uh, and then a hackle feather so it will be fine. Now I'm going to take a, uh, a uh, feather from the uh, crown of a golden pheasant uh, crest and I'm going to take two slips off of this and I'm going to set them in here um, and they'll act as um, like the eyes of a shrimp. Now we'll take the slip and we'll set it in. This stuff's a little tricky to work with because it doesn't like to really stay together but once it gets wet it'll, um, it'll, it'll all come back together. So we're going to set these in. Like this. There we go. So now I've got I've got those black bars see that um, represent the eyes on the back on the big eyes on a, on a shrimp so then we'll cut another one for the other side so I have my eyes for the other side so I will lay those in like here And we'll tie down along the shank. Alright, so I have eyes on both sides. Now we'll take a single strand of um, Crystal Flash. I'll tie it right up here on top. And this will be like the antenna and air bubbles. So we'll just cut those just a little bit longer than the tail itself. Come back to the rear and we'll tie in our chenille.
And you can notice I've left just a little bit of a space behind the bead. It's not really tied up against there. That way I've got a little bit of room for the hackle to um, suck down inside of. So we'll take this white saddle hackle and we'll clean off this fuzzy stuff at the bottom. And I'll clip it off and take a couple more off there. We'll tie this in here by the stem. And I'll get my hackle pliers. And stroke back as your wrap. That's probably enough turns. And we'll just wrap up here a little bit. Kind of hold these fibers back. And we can put in a whip finish. And we'll take a head cement and we'll put just a drop down here behind the eye or behind the bead. That'll soak into those threads and hold it. And there we have the squimp. This is actually a squimp variation. Uh, this is not the original pattern actually calls for a dubbed body of uh, Sanyo laser dub. And then it calls for um, a feather over the back that acts as a carapace. Uh, but this is um, this is the variation tied by Nick Clayton, who is a very well-known saltwater guide in the Puget Sound area for sea run cutthroats. And so, if this is the way he ties them and he catches fish on them, then I think that's probably a good indication that this is a fish catching fly. So, go out there and get some.